Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your daily general message for Monday, August 3rd, 2020. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. So whomever this is meant for, 10 card spread, 5 above, 5 below, I did clarify the last card as well as an outcome and 3 clarifiers. This is a pretty perplexed uh, energy is what I'm picking up here, okay? I feel that somebody out there is definitely coming out of this slump, okay, in their life. The five is known for a change in regards to the balance of their life. I do feel that somebody is rushing in, okay? Uh, the Knight of Swords does represent air sign quality, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it's really about that communication. I say that is because right underneath that is the Eight of Wands. So that's fast movement that's going to help somebody come out of the dark here. All right. I feel that this power of this fastness coming out of nowhere is going to kind of like, you know, something that you've been seriously waiting for, being patient about. It's going to tilt your cups, okay? Now, the, pe the temperance card does represent Sagittarius, but these two cups are supposed to be level. So it's going to knock your, your socks, knock your cups off, basically, okay? The thing that I'm feeling here, now, whoever this is for, is going to be kind of, uh, kind of un you know, undecided, really, as to what to do about this communication that's coming out of nowhere. That Two of Pentacles is a decision that you have to actually think about here, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles. A uh, lot of Pentacles here as well. But in the back of your head, you're kind of like, mm, well, you know, I would like to put in this work, you know, but in the same sense, is this other person who is now communicating out of the blue here going to put in this work? There's a lot of fear, a lot of doubtfulness, uh, how legit this person really is because and I say that is the person who was kind of wishy-washy about making that decision whether to take their offer or not I feel in regards to their thoughts with the six of swords represents the thoughts here is moving towards the wheel of fortune so a I feel it's kind of like if I make this choice to accept this person back to start a new in regards to balance here of this relationship here Am I going to get nailed again? Am I going to get another cycle here? Okay. Here it is. I pulled the last card is the nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles. So both of these cards is really about putting in the work while you're waiting. Okay. You're waiting for this work to be put in here. Okay. The feeling that I'm getting here it is. You want me to do the outcome? Then I'll sum it up. This has been more than frustrating, more than uh, mental anguish all in itself. The Nine of Swords is known for that nightmare stage because it was such a long time to hear from this person to receive this balance here, okay, with this Knight of Pentacles. In comes this apology, in comes, comes this offering here with this page. Pages are known for that communication in regards to the balance here. To take that next step with the Four of Wands. Could be dealing definitely with a Twin Flame energy here, especially with those Four of Wands. Here it is. I feel that somebody is definitely rushing and it's really going to knock your socks off, okay? It's going to help change things. It's going to help move forward what they have to say. But in the same sense, I feel whoever is receiving this communication is going to kind of feel wishy-washy because it's kind of like, okay, I took a back seat during this whole thing. It took a long time. I went through a lot, you know, mentally, physically. It damaged me, you know, because, you know, mental health can really get to you to the point where it hurts your bones, you know, and your health, you know. I mean, it really, really damaged somebody out there, okay? Now, I feel that there's definitely a wishy-washy feeling in regards to, let me contemplate this. Let me think about this. I know this person, but am I making that right choice? Am I going to make a choice that is going to wind up in regards to them hurting me again, okay? You've been waiting for this work again to be put into this relationship. In the back of your head, you're hopeful in regards to having that new start of bounce in this, okay? But I do feel a little bit of this. This person's really going to grovel, okay? Now, because it is a general reading, I'm throwing this out there. You know, that's, that's for you to decide. Everybody has free will, free choice. I'm just picking up the energy of what I feel is going on for certain people out there in regards to this communication and how they're going about it in a fast way. It's going to knock their socks off. It's going to make the other person think twice, you know. Do I really take this person back? You know, I've been waiting for this. I mean, right here is kind of like the Nine of Pentacles for this Ace of Pentacles. It's kind of like I've been waiting for this completion. 
that completion is putting back work into this situation. But in the same sense, the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, long time of mental anguish over the situation. Somebody comes in, offers that pentacle to take that next step in a relationship here. You know, I would also feel the same way in regards to moving forward. Are you going to screw me over again? It's basically just throwing it out there is what I'm really feeling here. So there is a lot of doubt, I feel, but I mean, if you work together, I feel it could, you know, it will work out, I feel, but it's all like, okay, it's basically this. If you want to put in the effort, do it. If you feel like they want to put in the effort, it's a together thing. It's not a one-sided thing, and that's what it feels like. It feels like before it was a one-sided thing, now I'm not sure if, if it's going to be two, you know? So just food for thought out there. So I, I don't really have a solution, you know, like a Dr. Ruth solution here. I'm just telling you the energy, the feeling that I'm getting that somebody's going to be coming back, offering that panic, offering that opportunity to take that next step. But it's really going to make the supposing person really think about, am I really going to make the right choice? You know, I have to really think about it. I know that I've really wanted them back, but do I? You know, is it going to be a together thing or am I just going to wind up getting hurt again? And that's what I have. I know it was kind of all over the place and not a real answer, but that's the energy that I'm picking up for today, Monday, August 3rd. You guys rock. Stay strong. Be safe out there. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.